Welcome to KB's video on how to declare into my program if I have an undeclared status. The purpose of this video is to help you understand if you fulfill your program declaration requirements and how to put in your declaration request. So let's start. So why should I declare into my program? And declared students should declare their program of study before they apply to graduate. Some programs require declaration earlier in order to enroll in program restricted courses. You may be interested to learn that declared students also have priority in registration. And don't worry, in the future, in case you change your mind, you still have the option to change your program after you have declared. But we will recommend you to speak with your academic advisor first before you make your final decision. Before you start the process, make sure you check these two websites. They contain important information to you. The first one is a declaration website. You'll be able to find detailed information on program declaration instructions, as well as the timelines. The second one is a university calendar. This is where you can find out if you meet your program declaration requirements before you put in your request. We'll look into each website a little further. The program declaration website contains a lot of the important information, for example, the timelines. For say, if you put in your program declaration request by June 1st, your record will be evaluated and processed before the fall registration period. And keep in mind not to rely on this video for the most up-to-date deadlines, since this is a pre-recorded video. This website also contains the link to the declaration request form. For students who have an undeclared status and wish to declare into an open intake program, please use the online form that is on OSS to declare into your program. And you can find the link right here. So the second place to check is a university calendar. This allows you to see if you meet your program declaration requirements so that you can declare into your program successfully. First of all, go to this website, calendar.kpu.ca, then click on to Faculties and Programs A to Z. On this page, you'll be able to find a list of all the KPU programs. And we will use the Accounting Diploma Program as an example here. So on this page, you'll be able to find out if your program is open or limited intake. So for the Accounting Diploma program, it is considered as an open intake program. Keep this in mind as you will need this information for your declaration. And then on the same page, click on to Requirements. And you'll be able to see your declaration requirements. For example, the Accounting Diploma program, the declaration requirements are in good academic setting with the university and have completed a minimum of 15 credits of undergraduate coursework. So if you wish to declare into this program, make sure you fulfill these declaration requirements before you submit your requests. And please note that a small number of programs have no curricular declaration requirements, for example, general studies diploma. In this case, students who wish to declare into this program would need to be in good academic setting with the university. If your status is undeclared and you want to put in a declaration request, you can follow these steps to see how to submit an online request form. After you're logged on to your online cell service, click under Student Menu, Records, and Request for Program Declaration. Check the information under Projected Program. If the information is correct, you can click under Confirm Program. If the information is incorrect or missing some information, then you can follow the upcoming steps. We're going to try two examples. The first example, we're going to have an art student who's trying to change the faculty to business to declare into the BBA in accounting program. Since accounting is under a different faculty, we will need to change the faculty by clicking onto this button. Then we're going to change the faculty to business and for it to list all the majors. And then under major, we're going to then choose accounting and ask it to list all the programs. So here, then we can select BB in accounting. If you need to add a minor or concentration, this is where you can do so by clicking onto this button. Otherwise, you can click on to evaluate declaration requests. Unfortunately for the student, he or she does not meet the declaration requirements and so the student is not able to proceed further. Um, normally, there will be a button right here that says submit declaration request if the student meets all the declaration requirements. So for this example, we'll suggest a student to contact 
the academic advisor to find out what he or she would need in order to declare into the program. So we're going to try another example. In the second example, it will be an art student who would like to declare into a criminology diploma. As criminology is not listed under the major, we'll need to add the major by clicking on to change major. And in here, make sure you double check on the calendar year. If it is not correct, you can use the pull down menu here to change it. Please make sure not to use the calendar year on this video since this is only a demonstration. So under major, we'll then choose criminology and click on to list programs and we'll choose criminology diploma program for this example. After that, we'll click on to evaluate decoration requests. For this student, the student meets the decoration requirements and therefore you will see in here that the student will be able to click on to submit decoration requests. After you have submitted your program decoration request, you will then be brought to the confirmation page which shows you the status of your decoration request. If you're wondering what's the timeline for program decoration, make sure you rewind back to the beginning of this video where we talk about the program decoration website and also the timelines. What we just went through were the steps to declare into an open intake program. On the other hand, if you're hoping to declare into a limited intake program, we will suggest you to consult your academic advisor first. Program decoration is pretty straightforward as long as you follow the steps in the video. If you encounter any issues or have any questions, feel free to reach out to us. Here are some ways to contact us. We wish you the very best and good luck with your program decoration requests.